Okay, so I have a tablespoon of the powder of the critical care. This is a different kind than what you have, um, but you'll still take a tablespoon of it. And then I put it in a bowl. And then I always just eyeball it. Some people do a two to one ratio of water, but I just kind of eyeball it and then I'll mix it until it gets, um, until it becomes like a pancake-like consistency. If I get too much water, I just add more powder. And if I have too little water, like I kind of do now, it's too thick, I'll just add a little bit more water. So we're getting there. I think I might just need a little bit more. And I don't always just do a small amount at a time where I feel like I make too much. And one tablespoon might make his whole day's worth of critical care. So you can always save extra. So you're gonna be syringe feeding him um, the amount, I think it was 30 mils that we said to, to feed him. So you'll feed that and then you will, you can save the excess in the fridge. Um, so this is the same syringe that you got. Always remember that there's a cap on it. I like to save the cap unless there, in case there's extra critical care food, you can just put the cap on and then just put the syringe in the um, refrigerator. So um, your syringe has the syringe ca casing and then the plunger aspect of the syringe. So I just make the um, critical care in a bowl and then I'll just suck it up in the syringe. So see how this is kind of coming up a little bit chunky with a lot of air. That means I don't have, it's too thick. I need more water. So we'll add more water. 